there. So what I wanted to do for you today is a movement um, that comes from my longer ATM called Cat and Cow Unleashed. So begin this lesson by lying on your back and just getting a sense of your spine. And just kind of see if you can press up and down with your spine on the floor, giving yourself some sensory feedback using the floor against your spine. And then when you're ready, come on up to all fours. And in all fours, see if you can find what will be a neutral position. And in that neutral position, just let your spine drop a little bit towards the floor and then come away towards the ceiling. And just do that a few times, just letting your spine come down and then up. And just notice how you do that. Notice what's happening in your hip joints. Notice what's happening in your shoulders and your chest. Can you feel what's happening in your ribs and in your breastbone, in the front, in your head? And just notice how this movement is traveling through the rest of you. And then when you're ready, pause. And in this neutral position, just pick a vertebra that you can sense. And if you can't sense any of them, that's okay. Just pick a spot. But see if you can find a vertebra that you can sense and pretend that you have attached a string to this vertebra. And now start pulling up on that vertebra, up towards the ceiling, and then let it fall. So your sense is that this is this one vertebra that you are raising to the ceiling and allowing to drop to the floor. Notice your breath. Find a rhythm of breath that makes the movement easier. And resting whenever you need to. This can kind of be hard on your wrists. Do that a few times and then pause. And now see if you can find a vertebra right next to that one you just did. Right next to it, either up or down and begin to raise and lower that vertebra with your strength. And don't go as far as you can go. Keep it small and slow. And notice the quality of the movement. Keep it slow and small enough that the movement is as smooth as you can make it. And then when you're ready, just seamlessly go down to the next vertebra. Go either down or up. But start to fill in your whole spine by bringing your attention and your focus on each vertebra at a time. And then raising and lowering that vertebra towards the ceiling and towards the floor. And then move to another vertebra. And notice how it changes what's happening in your hips, what might be happening in your shoulders. And move to another vertebra. And when you get down all the way to the bottom, or all the way to the top. Go back to your original vertebra. Do that a few times. And then go the other direction. So we fill out the entire spine up and down. And again, noticing how this is being reflected in the movement of your shoulders and your pelvis. Just doing it a few times and then moving on.
on to the next one, just seamlessly. Rest in whenever you need to. Staying underneath any level of discomfort or pain. And do that until you get all the way up to T1 or all the way down to the bottom of your lumbar. And pause for a moment. Shake out your wrists. Come back to the original neutral position. And now just raise and lower your spine again. And notice if it's any easier. Everything hangs off the spine. When we have flexibility and great mobility in the spine, that reflects in the movement of all of us. So when you've done that a few times, roll back over onto your back. And now notice your spine against the floor now and see if you can press your spine into the floor. Maybe you have a little bit more sensory awareness of your spine now. And then just rest. Notice yourself in line on the floor. And then when you're ready, you can roll on up to sitting and up to standing and walk around with this new sense of mobility in your spine.